Do you believe that this scenario is showing Kyle's limits? Because again, I'm a uh, again, I'm from the DC area, so I remember mm-hmm. the whole RG three cousins scenario. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I'm not gonna say this is the same scenario, but maybe he doesn't know what to do with a black quarterback. Because I mean, he may be a genius in a lot of different ways, but maybe he doesn't right. know what to do. And you, you know, possible, and- right? I mean, did he really know what to do with RG three, or did he sort of kind of bastardize that skill set? You know, because it sounds like he like cousins a lot more. But I mean, again, right, my- right. It's like he, it's like I think people he likes a certain style of quarterback, and you could say that's whatever, you know. But it's a style, right? right. The style, yeah. But then it begs the question: Well, why pick him up? Why, why give up so many draft picks to get him? Well, it's interesting to me is like, look, compare Andy Reid to Kyle Shanahan. Like, a lot of people say Kyle Shanahan's better than Andy Reid. That, that Andy Reid just has better quarterbacks. Well. Andy Reid has had very athletic quarterbacks in his career. He doesn't use them like running backs. He exactly. had Donovan McNabb. They weren't running zone read. I mean, it was a lot of screens. Exactly. He had uh, Michael freaking Vick. He wasn't running a bunch of zone reads. It was screens. I mean, he makes, the, he makes life really easy on quarterbacks. He doesn't, and he protects them. When Kyle Shanahan gets these types of quarterbacks, all of a sudden it's like, hey, man, you want to play for me? You're a running back. And we all know that's not going to last very long, but good luck. See how long you can do it. And see, that wouldn't be the quarterback. That would be the coach. That's not the quarterback. That's the coach. And people call Kyle a genius for that when really Andy Reid is the genius. You look at Donovan McNabb. He had a Pro Bowl year late in his career with uh, Philly. Andy Reid could kind of tell he was on the way out and about to be washed, but he still got a Pro Bowl year out of him. Went to Kyle and Mike in, in Washington and immediately stunk and was like, hey, man, like, I'm getting killed. Maybe we could put some more screens in like Andy Reid does. And Kyle's like, don't tell me how to do offense. So that's not the quarterback. So let me ask you this. Because as somebody who watches the team on the regular, when yeah. when Trey was starting, do you feel like the game plan was different? Because I know the team looked different with Brock on the field. But again, the coach calls the plays. So right. if the coach is in this The only match, time play, Trey got a serious game plan was the Houston game. That's the only time he got a serious game plan. Every other game plan was ridiculous. Okay, but wasn't there? But but I do believe wasn't there a little something with uh, Jimmy playing around as well with that? Like, cause w- was that not one of the games where uh, we didn't know he was kind of iffy, so nobody knew if he was going to come in or which that? one? Because I'm, not sure. Was, I'm was not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe, yep. And, maybe. And yeah, game like a little off, right? Because they they didn't have Jimmy to fall back on. You actually had to use your quarterback the right way in that game. Yes. Let's see. So again, I mean, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be the player. That would be the coach, right? If, and that's why it'd be if, interesting. Like, if they had just gotten rid of Jimmy Garoppolo as soon as they got Trey Lance, where would they be right now? Because sitting Trey Lance for a year didn't help him, and having Jimmy Garoppolo over his shoulder didn't help him. The one time Trey Lance played when Jimmy Garoppolo was inactive, it looked good. What? That's a good point. That's a really good point. I don't so think maybe, having Jimmy around things, the last two years helped. All things that could be pointed toward the coach and not the play. Right. I agree. I totally agree. So it'd be interesting to see what happens with Jimmy the rest of his career now that he's away from Kyle. The genius. I, I, El Jefe, I, thank you. I honestly believe he's going to stay. Yeah, me too. That's just, my, that's just my opinion. I think that's on him too. Hefe, man, good to see you. All right, man.